Okay, so we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to get tracks from your Korg into your PC. Um, so you're in your song. For the sake of this video, I've recorded a, a 10 or 12 second drum track. Um, so there that is. Okay, it's just one track. Um, so what you want to do now is before you even get into this mess, go to uh, system MIDI and you want to click your system MIDI button right there sorry for the low light then on that page when it comes up scroll over to USB mode click on that open that up man it's hard to hold this camera and open that okay click on USB mode and you'll hear your computer acknowledge the fact that it is communicating with the Korg uh, if this doesn't happen, then you got a problem right off the bat. So now click on my com click on the start button, then go to my computer, and you should see the little icon of the cork popping up on your screen to indicate that at this point your computer is doing nothing but looking at your entire cork as a storage device, as if it were a, a memory card or memory stick or another hard drive in your computer it's just talking to the Korg via USB now if you can't get this to happen more than likely 99 percent of you know of the problem or the chance of the problem being is that you don't have a current enough USB cable go to Walmart or Guitar Center or wherever and get you the newest USB cable you can get you cannot pull this off with an old USB cable say so, Okay, so now we got our computer and our Korg talking to each other. Exit out of this on the Korg first. You'll hear the computer let you know that it's no longer communicating with the Korg. Close that down. So now we're back to ground zero. Go back to your song. Okay, so you know where you're at. Then click on... Uh, well first of all the most important thing you have to do is you have to pick the in and out locations of the song or of the track that you want to export so obviously the beginning would be you know at the beginning where you got your zeros or wherever you want it to be you click store and then you click location one in stores right there location one in is right there then uh, you can fast forward for the sake of this video since it's so short we'll just let it play and then you hit store and then you hit out got to do those two things go ahead and hit stop rewind and then what you've done is you've told the Korg when and where you want this to go in and out of so now you want to click on your track button up here and use your tabs buttons over here to get to the edit track window okay it'll look like this now you'll see in this little tiny window right here that my in is set to zero and my out is set to 12.908 seconds which is exactly where we want it to be so our source you, you can have it be whatever track you you want to export but for the sake of this video we're using tr uh, track 12 so I've got the source set to track 12 how you do that is simply highlight that cell and scroll with your data wheel and pick whatever track you want um, we're looking for track 12 here so we got that and then on the destination side you want to scroll take your data wheel and scroll all the way to the right to where it says clip C-L-I-P then you want to hit execute and it'll ask you if you want to you know are you sure and it'll say what you're doing copy track 12 to the clipboard are you sure yes we're sure and it's copying it's okay it's completed if you have a longer track than 12 seconds it may take longer to complete just let it do its thing don't push any buttons leave it be let it do let it do what it's got to do 
Okay, so the copy track's completed and that's done. So now what we want to do is scroll over with your scroll tabs again on the same uh, track page as if you were to hit your track button there. Scroll over to the very last page that you can scroll over to here at the bottom uh, and you'll see export file and you'll see we've got our clip one loaded up with the arrows pointed down to export and I always rename them so I can recognize them. We'll just call this one U. I'll throw a T in there for YouTube and uh, that way we'll recognize it when we pull it up in our in our computer. Click OK it'll rename that and you can see it brought it up with the ut12 dot wave now you want to click execute export file at pc usb are you sure yes we're sure so click yes and it's exporting file and now it's finished click ok and again if you got a longer track it may take a little bit longer just let it do its thing now what you got to do is go to system MIDI like I showed you at the beginning of the video click on USB mode in the lower right hand corner again boom now you're getting your computer and your Dell or I'm sorry your computer and your Korg talking to each other again go to your start go back to my computer You see the Korg thing in there? Now, you'll see DigiDesign Databases and Auto Run. Stay out of that. Don't mess with that. Click on Korg and then click on the Wave file. And you'll see our file right there YouTube 12. Um, I simply just take and find my file, click and drag it onto my desktop. and there it is right there on the desktop now to double check go back over to your Korg with the Korg mouse exit out of the USB mode the computer will obviously make a sound that lets you know it's no longer communicating with the Korg and also the my computer screen with the Korg icon will disappear but we've got we've got our clip in the computer so to double check on that you can right click go down to open with open with whatever you prefer I'm just going to use uh, Windows Media Player real quick and there's the drum track right there in the computer ready to export or import into your software uh, for editing and in short that's how you get the information from the Korg into the computer. If you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to shoot me an email and uh, I'll try to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for checking out the channel. I uh, apologize for the low lighting. And, uh, you know, if you got anything else you need me to inform you of, just let me know. And when I get the time, I'll shoot you a video. Please subscribe. Please shoot me a friend request. And uh, have a beautiful day.